this is the start of a great boat trailer build. Firstly, I'm definitely not a fabricator, just an old chain with a can-do attitude and a MIG welder. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna get the hub set up on the axle, and then uh, yeah, set the bearings up in the wheels, and see where we get from there. I'm really just doing things for the sake of doing things because I'm still waiting for the steel to be delivered. But let's give it a bell. I haven't used a MIG for a while, so it'll take me a few guys to get my eye back in, but as long as it holds, it doesn't need to be the prettiest. So now we've got the drums on and then the wheels, and, and uh, yeah, see what it looks like. Alright, so we've got the axle together, and the brakes set up, and bearings in, and everything. And that's pretty much as much as I can do for the moment. I'll wait till I get the rest of the steel. But she rolls and well, it looks like two wheels and an axle. The steel has finally arrived. Woo! So Shane is finally getting the frame together, which is very exciting. So hopefully we can look in it Blue moon. Kind of mysterious, shaded with someone I'm not really in. Do you need to fix it? Talking bullshit. It's hard to see you when your eyes look dull. Who's gonna save you? Who's gonna make you? Something I learned in maths <laughs> in school. <laughs> well, those times in geometry lessons when you thought you'd never use it. Yeah, there is. It's like that angle means that that angle is something. You know, there is something called Google. We can probably Google geometry and find out the formula. So you just want to find just, out. No, what? I can just measure that off. The, measure that with the uh, thing, and then just cut that. No, all good. Got it sorted. <laughs> Did just, you already? I'm just gonna lay it out. <laughs> Same with that end. Mm. With that end, a bit more difficult. Yeah, so it's good. Mm. Pretty much just making it up as I go. Wasn't that always the plan? Pretty much. Now, we're on that, which will be where the winch post is. I'm trying to think of something It has been a really big day for both of us today, so we haven't done much recording, but I thought I'd show you what we've been up to. Hello there, Shano. Good day. Good day. Um, so I'll grab my shoes and I'll quickly take you out and look because this boy is on fire and he is going through going through stuff he's honestly moving a lot faster than i thought so i just thought i'd show everyone what you've been up to today mm. 
So he has welded on the drawbar, managed to work out those angles. Um, and then he has also been shopping to get some tube steel ready for the leaf springs. So, that's the old box there. Are you happy with how it's progressing? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we need to get done tomorrow. Um, well, I've just worked out. It's going to make these spring brackets. It's probably not quite thick enough, so I'm going to try and get some thicker steel and uh, make some spring brackets for the jockey wheel on the hope that it will be rolling. And then, uh, yeah, then we can go from there. Rollable in three days? Yeah, it should be. That's crazy. Yeah. So I've run into a few problems as was to be expected. Um, shouldn't be too bad, we should be able to make it work. This is the hitch I was going to use, which is more designed for camper trailers, so they sit on like an A-frame sort of thing. But the bolt holes line up pretty much with the sides of the RHS, so I can't bolt it through that it's not enough material so what i'm thinking is i'll fit two more bits of rhs down the side and then plate the top without a bit more of a, a platform that i can bolt through so just wait for more steel for that so i'm just making at the moment all i like for that the keel rollers they basically sit Lengthways up here and support the keel right the way through. So I have eight rolls in them. That's five mil steel, which should be plenty strong enough, I would think. Well, the problems I'm running into now is I don't have a drill bit with me big enough to fit the rollers through. Um, so I went and bought a cheap step drill bit, which you can probably just see. I've rounded it off already and done six holes and ruined that, so there's another trip into town, which is a bit of a pain because it's a good half an hour to get there and I've still got all this side to do, so I'm going to have to spend the money on a big one, on a good one I suppose. Um, but yeah, while I'm tossing up what to do, I'll fit this jockey wheel and, and start making a drop down for the spare. Alright, so the plan with the spare was to make a like a drop down drop down sort of extra off-road jockey wheel sort of thing. So if you ever need you can put that down as a full size tire so you can tow it through anything if it gets stuck. So what I've created is it's basically this, so this is the spare stub axle, so the hub, and that's the other benefit, you carry a spare hub with you, so the hub and the wheel goes on there, I'll just notch this out a little bit so that'll slide into there, which will slide in fully, and then we'll get four plug welds in that all the way around. That joins up all these 45s. Creates a hopefully pretty strong arm. But then in turn we'll get welded onto this, which is just a drop-down bracket you use for a normal jockey wheel, which you just cut out to suit the square tube. So that allows it to swivel. Um, but yeah, then that gets bolted on the on the drawbar and we're on. Put it all together and we'll see how it looks. 
Thank you for watching our first ever vlog on YouTube. Now, because it is our first, it is most likely going to be our worst, especially that dodgy audio quality. But we would still love if you come along with us. We are going to be documenting the rest of the boat trailer build and then eventually on to our travels around Australia. So if you are interested in joining us for the journey, hit the like, subscribe and share to all your friends.